Now uh, we can start with the load characteristics uh, in the power system. These are very important regarding uh, objective type of questions. So each and every formula of this is very important. So please remember the formula when we are going through the load characteristics. So first of all, we will start with the demand factor. What is called as the demand factor? <coughs> it is the ratio of maximum demand to the total connected load. So it is equals to One can see that the demand factor goes high with increase in the total connected load. If the load increases, then the demand factor is low. Whereas, if the maximum demand is increased, then the demand factor increases. So, one should understand the formula for the demand factor that is called the load, maximum load divided by total connected. Load or the maximum demand divided by the total connected load. <coughs> Another thing which we should understand in the load characters is, the, is called as the average demand. what is called as the average demand. Average demand is defined as the ratio of energy consumed in the period to number of time or number of hours in that period. So we can write average demand as the energy consumed in that period uh, divided by the hours in that time period. Energy consumed in that period divided by the hours in that time period. What is the significance of the average demand? So the average demand is the demand which is always present in the system. So energy consumed in that period, if we are talking about the 24 hours suppose, so energy consumed in 24 hours divided by the 24 hours is called the average demand for 24 hours or one day. So we can have average demand for day, we can have, have average demand for hour also, for day also, for week also, for month also, for year also, for a decade also. So average demand on a system is likely to be changing with respect to if we are going towards the decade rather than going for the day. So for a day average demand will be very much fluctuating, for a month it will be less fluctuating, for a year it will be less fluctuating and for a decade it will be very much less fluctuating. So, after getting the average demand of the system, we can have a power system design or we can have a power system uh, generating plant according to the average demand and according to the demand factor also, we can have the uh, total system capacity, the how much system capacity should be there for a uh, city or for a state or whatever. So, for a for a particular period, a particular uh, community, we can have the demand factor and we can have the average demand too. Third thing which is very important, which is called a load factor. Mm. 
load factor is defined as the average demand divided by the maximum demand. So you can write we can write load factor as average demand divided by the maximum demand. So this load factor on any power system should be as high as possible. As high as possible means if it is if it is on 100 percent basis then if the load factor is 100 percent then it is well uh, designed system but uh, normally when we are considering a power system generating plant, it is never lower 100% because average demand to the maximum demand cannot be 100%. So average demand is always fluctuating as we have seen in, in the uh, graph of uh, uh, load curve that and the load curve as well as in the load duration curve we have seen that the demand is always changing according to the time, according to the um, way of the work which the uh, person is doing. Even you and me also do the same thing and average amount of you and me also changes every day. So according to that and sometimes the maximum demand is at the evening for normal customers, uh, normal uh, consumers, for household customers but when it comes to the commercial customers, normally uh, hours in 24 hours when the factory is working in the morning times then the maximum demand at that time is there but uh, so their load factor is high at that time but when it when the factory or when the system is closed in the night then the average demand for them is very much low so uh, thereby we can say that the load factor is never 100 percent for any customer, so load factor should be as high as possible, so that the uh, dip, uh, so that the demand uh, of the system or the uh, capacity of the system can be classified according to that. <coughs> Coming to the diversity factor. <coughs> One more thing is called as the diversity factor, which is equals to the actual energy produced. <coughs> Divided by the total energy that could have been produced. So the diversity factor exactly is the actual energy produced in the system and the total energy that could have been produced is called the diversity factor. So we should have the diversity factor as high as possible. The diversity factor should be as high as possible. And one thing in diversity factor is that what is called the diversity. In a normal understanding, what is called the diversity. We say that the actual energy produced upon the total energy that could have been produced doesn't mean much to a person which is new to power system. So we can have one thing. Again, coming back to the load curve. This is load versus time. Suppose for a place, for a place, load curve is somewhat like this. 
uh, I can say not like this right now. This is the load curve for a place. I suppose any city. So this is the load curve where we can see that this is the minimum load always present in the system and so I can have a uh, power plant, generating plant of this system but if I have the power plant of this system what could happen I will be able to cope up this much of energy, no issues but apart from that this energy will not, will not be my system will not be able to cope up with this much of energy which is above this dotted line so what to do now either I have to increase my installed capacity either I have to take it from some other interconnections so if it is a hydro plant uh, so I cannot increase the height of that so the power generator will not be uh, increase in the case of my thermal plant I have the, an option of uh, using a better coal, better type of coal for increasing the installed capacity or I can have the more number of working of hours in the system or I can have an uh, interconnection system so that this much which is above the dotted line which I can take from some other interconnections but that will not also help us the way because of the reason that if I say this is almost at 8 p.m. in the night suppose at the 8 p.m. in the night every day I am getting a, a lot of consumption of the power let it be being from the commercial person let it be being from the household person so at 8 in the evening then there is a lot of power which is required now suppose I have an installed capacity like this rather than the previous dotted line which so what will happen now my installed capacity is increased so I will be able to use produce that much of electricity which is below this dotted line but still I have to take this much of energy this much of energy from some other place and one also can see this thing that here I am not using my installed capacity this is the blue line which is shown over here as well as blue line over here also I am not using this much of installed capacity which is being always wasted which is always wasted so I should be having a diversity in the load to increase my load factor first of all and if I increase my diversity factor such that according to this if this area if the area of this red triangle is almost a triangle right now is almost uh, suppose a uh, 100 square centimeter if this is almost 100 square centimeter so if I do one thing rather than having this much of peak if I am able to have somewhat like this or I can have a graph of somewhat like this which is also equivalent to 100 square feet right now or 100 square centimeter which we have spoken about and this was my installed capacity at that time so at that moment what happens that rather than everything going on 8 pm everything maximum demand under 8 pm 
I have a maximum demand of almost this much thing at the stretch of time. So what will happen? So my installed capacity at this time will be fully utilized. As we can see this thing that only this much of area is getting wasted. Previously it was somewhat like this and previously it was somewhat like this. I am able to utilize this much of area which is coming now under my load curve. Or now I can have a system which is almost starting from here and going up to here. If I have a graph like this for the load curve and this is almost my installed capacity which is the dotted line which is shown over here. So I can have this much of only wastage here and not get having any wastage. So what will happen since the wastage is low and the diversity is more so the wastage will be lesser. One more thing which comes here that the maximum demand is low right now. So if the maximum demand at 8 pm right now is almost the same which is at the whole day. So what will happen that, that the installed capacity of my system will come down. First thing if I am having if I want to design a system so that the maximum demand is fulfilled at that time since now the maximum demand is low so total maximum demand is low and my diversity vector is right now high at that time my stretch of my system would be high and my capacity of the system is fully utilized so at that time my diversity vector is high so at that time energy which is actually producing and the total energy that is could be produced is almost same. So the diversity factor is high. So I should be having a diversity factor as high as possible. So I should be having the load factor should be high and diversity factor should be high and one more thing which is coming right now is called the plant capacity factor which should be as high as possible.